Moving on next tonight, a warning to women and doctors about the dangers of cancer going undetected during pregnancy. It follows one woman's experience of repeatedly telling medical staff that she felt ill or in pain and being told her symptoms were just down to her being pregnant. We'll be hearing from one of the country's leading oncologists in a moment, but first our correspondent Ashley Derricott tells us Jenny's story. Nobody knows what to say. Jenny is a mother of five. During her most recent pregnancy, she noticed her body felt different. It was an important warning. I'd say about four months post-birth, I started to realise something really was wrong. I had horrendous backache and lower abdominal pain. I felt tired and not just tired that a normal mum with five children has, but tired where I couldn't control it. Jenny's GP told her for a woman who just had a baby, the symptoms were normal. It was an explanation she couldn't accept, even taking herself to a hospital A&E department. Six months after being told there wasn't a problem, came a diagnosis of cervical cancer. Do you ever consider what might have happened had you not pushed so hard? Every day when I look at my children, I still sometimes now find it difficult thinking that I might not have seen them grow up. They might have had to grow up without me. And I'm so glad that I did push when I pushed because if I hadn't, I think the outcome would have been very different. Maya Woolworth from Glossop was one of 8,000 women a year currently diagnosed with cancer during pregnancy. She died 10 weeks after giving birth to a son. The Mummy's Star charity now focuses on building support and awareness. Maya's husband is its founder. Some of the cases we're talking about, these women are in their second, third and fourth pregnancies. They know their bodies during pregnancy and they know when they feel right and they know when something is wrong, so we need them to be listened to. Jenny wants those mums to know there is hope out there. Happily, she's now cancer-free after treatment. Ashley Derricott, ITV News, Salford. And a short time ago, we spoke to Dr. Richard Simcock, a leading oncologist who's an expert in cancer during pregnancy. We asked him if he could understand how the disease could sometimes be missed or misdiagnosed. The body goes, undergoes enormous changes during a pregnancy, and some of those changes are to be expected, and some of those changes might be misunderstood. Um, if a cancer is causing a problem, it's very easy to understand that the patient might initially think that they were changes associated with the pregnancy and that why their healthcare workers might think the same. Cancer and pregnancy don't occur together very often, so it's not going to be at the top of someone's differential diagnosis, it's not going to be at the someone, top of someone's hit list in thinking what's going wrong with that patient. Is it high enough up though? Because when a woman is pregnant, she is being scanned more regularly, she's being checked more regularly medically than any other time in her life. How does this get missed at that point? I think it's difficult uh, to miss eventually, but it's not, it's not difficult to miss early. So you have to be dogged, you have to remain uh, focused. Have we explained this problem adequately? And if we haven't, seek an answer. The work we've been doing with Mummy Star today has been educating midwives to be alert to the issue of cancer and pregnancy so that they start to think about it because they may previously not have done so. If the diagnosis is made though in pregnancy, a woman is obviously going to be very, very worried about what effect any treatment would have on her unborn baby. Uh, what would the options be? Clearly devastating diagnosis. But what we want to reassure those patients is that the majority of options are actually still open to them. And we would want to reassure those patients that most of the time the outcomes from the cancer treatment would be the same as if they weren't pregnant. The terrible experiences in the 1960s have left a scar through uh, an emotional scar that runs deep both for the general public and for medical professions. Everyone's very worried and averse about drug taking. Because we've been forced to have to give these drugs in difficult situations, we do have good data and good follow-up which shows us that actually it's safe. And when you defer the use of chemotherapy into the th second and third trimesters, so after the first 16 weeks of pregnancy, after those first 16 weeks, chemotherapy is actually extremely safe. And some of the experts of, uh, on cancer and pregnancy that we work with have made the claim that alcohol is more dangerous to uh, the unborn child than chemotherapy at that stage. So what signs should a pregnant woman be looking out for? You say it's rare, but what, what should they be aware of? Well, although it's not common, the most common cancer in pregnancy is breast cancer. 
and the advice for looking for breast cancer is the same for every woman. You're looking for changes in the breast, changes in one breast alone. A hard lump should always be investigated because a hard lump is not a normal feature of breast development during pregnancy. And the midwives are experts in breast developmental changes and would advise and reassure and check out. Doctor, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Well, information at all, as we heard there, Mummy Star is a charity which works with women who experience cancer during their pregnancy. You can find out all about their work on our website right now. Just click on itv.com slash Granada.